vControl Pro from Nyrink Software is a powerful iPad application that acts as a portable, seamless extension of your audio workstation. In Filecut Pro, vControl provides multi-touch access to transport control, faders, panning, mute and solo, automation, effects and much more. It also lets you program custom buttons for fast access to those repetitive functions that can really speed up the way you work. vControl now works with a host of media applications, including Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Cubase and Final Cut Pro. We're going to take a look at how vControl can change the way you work with Apple's Final Cut Pro, version 5, 6 or 7. vControl uses the iPad's Wi-Fi feature to wirelessly control your workstation and Final Cut Pro and after it's set up once, it automatically connects every time. vControl is ergonomically designed to be powerful, fast and easy by utilizing the iPad's high-resolution screen, multi-touch surface and iOS operating system. The main screen shows eight audio tracks in the same order as they appear on the Final Cut Pro timeline. vControl uses gestures to bank channels. Final Cut Pro can only be banked eight tracks at a time either with a two-finger swipe or by pressing the bank button. At the top are the simple Final Cut Pro track names. You can easily mute and solo tracks. And above them are the pan controls. You can adjust fader levels. What's great is that since the iPad uses multi-touch, you can even adjust more than one fader at a time, something you can't do with a mouse. Double tap the fader to return to zero. There are two fader modes in Final Cut Pro. If you make sure Record Audio Keyframes is turned off here in the Audio Mixer window, whenever you adjust the fader level, the final level that you set when you let go of the fader is written throughout the length of the clip. Each time you pass over a clip, the faders jump to show you the clip's level. In many ways, this is better than a hardware mixer, as moving faders will be jumping around all the time, matching levels in each of the many clips, which causes distracting noises while you edit. Obviously, V-Control faders are totally silent. Now if you turn Record Audio Keyframes on, any fader moves you make will record as keyframe audio level automation. The up, down and left, right keys are the same as your up, down, left, right keys on your keyboard. The up, down keys let you move to the next and previous edits, which is useful for setting different audio levels for each clip. The left, right keys move a frame at a time. The master fader can also be controlled. Again, double tap to set to zero. There are dedicated keys for save, undo, enter and cancel. At the bottom is the transport section that will operate in the viewer, the canvas or the timeline, whichever is in focus. Transport functions include play, stop, jump to the beginning or end, or to the next or previous markers. The fast forward and rewind work by tapping the button. The more taps, the faster the transport moves. If you tap and drag the counter, you can move through the project using your finger. You can also display a big counter. Connecting the control to your computer is One of the most useful features is the soft key section. The 16 buttons are the same as hitting the F1 through F16 function keys on the keyboard. There are four different modifier keys for Shift, Option, Control and Command that can be used to select between different sets of commands. One of the problems with using these function keys on a keyboard is remembering what they do and here's where vControl can really help. In the Tools window is the Keyboard Layout Customize window. This lets you customize the function keys with and without modifiers. For example, you can make F1 switch record audio keyframes on and off. Make sure the modifier keys are off and then go to the audio commands and drag the record audio keyframes to F1. Now F1 toggles this function on or off. 
on the keyboard and on V-Control's F1 key at the bottom here. You can label the V-Control F1 button by holding your finger on it, which presents a command select navigation popover. It's not setting the command, just the key icon and the text label. If you want to customise the label, tap it and the keyboard editor is presented. You can set up your own groups of commands for different operational modes, a bank for audio mixing, a bank for editing, a bank for favourites. In Final Cut Pro, favourites are extremely useful. If you take an effect with your preferred settings from a clip, or with default settings from the effects list, and drag it to the favourites folder, you will see that it's assigned a keyboard command. Here, the first video transition favourite is a 15 frame cross dissolve. You can now drop this onto the Option F1 key. The first effects favourite is a basic colour corrector, so you can drop this onto the Option F2 key. You can now select the labels for these keys in V Control. Now when you select a transition between two clips and press F1, you get a 15 frame cross dissolve. If you select a clip and press F2, you add the colour corrector. Finally, you can use the new V window feature with any of the open windows in Final Cut Pro. Now select from any of the available windows, in this case a colour corrector. You can enlarge the window and make adjustments with your finger for yet another way to literally get hands-on control of your edit. So as you can see, V-Control has some serious features that work seamlessly with Final Cut Pro, making it easier and faster to edit your projects at a really affordable price. Check out V-Control on the Nyring website and visit the Apple App Store to download your copy. V-Control Free is a limited feature version of V-Control Pro that lets you check out the power of V-Control for yourself at no charge. 